Hi guys, Regina here. Today, I'll be doing a simple tutorial on one of the most popular email marketing tool which is called Aweber. Uh, what is Aweber? Aweber, some call it as an autoresponder and some call it as an email marketing tool. Okay, so now, uh, without much delay, when you log into Aweber, okay, this will be the screen that you're seeing right now. This will be the screen that you will be seeing. Okay, uh, in one glance, you'll be able to see the number of subscribers you have today, yesterday, and the total number that have unsubscribed today. Okay, last but not least, on the last uh, blue panel here, this shows the number of subscribers you have on your blog, on your list, so on and so forth. Okay, now, um, this is a very detailed uh, dashboard where it shows you all your scheduled broadcasts as well. Okay, I will explain to you what broadcast means after this. But yes, uh, if you have any scheduled broadcast here, it will be here. Okay, and for all your previous uh, broadcast that you have sent out, it will be located here at the bottom. It will show you the number of opened email, the number of clicked email, if you have any URLs in the email, the percentage that they have clicked, uh, the number of bounce that you have, uh, bounce which means that an uh, email that didn't reach the recipient, okay, and of course, the number of complaints. The number of complaints is uh, calculated based on the number of people who uh, immediately click or report you as spam. Okay, so if the numbers goes up here on complaint, then that is bad. Okay, now um, this is the login, this is the dashboard that you see. Okay, this is the home page button here. Now uh, we'll go over to the messages part. Okay, the messages tab is divided into follow up series, broadcast series, uh, even uh, blog broadcast. Okay, so now let's go into follow up series. Okay, a follow up series is what we call as an auto responder in email. Okay, um, some uh, email marketing services provide this. Aweber provides this. Yes, for all members. Now, uh, what's the use of this? Whenever some person, somebody um, subscribe to your email, okay, um, an auto responder if created will automatically kick in. For example, someone sign up for my newsletter on my blog, okay immediately they will receive the first email which is here number one okay number one here this will be the title okay the title of my email it will be sent immediately okay and uh, it will show you the number of open email okay this will be sent immediately right after they have um, agreed on the confirmation email okay or when they have clicked on the confirmation email Okay, if they do not click on the confirmation email, they will not get this first email. All right. Now, uh, what are spam? What is spam score? Spam score shows uh, the num the chances of your email going into the spam box automatically. Okay, so the lower the number that you have, the better it goes. So for me, I always practice a zero, or I try my best to be zero. Okay, now. Um, I have my autoresponder number 2 which is a follow up email which is sent 4 days after number 1's email okay now uh, if you can see from here the chances of opening will be 48% okay so 50% here out of this 50% chances is maybe here okay this email are sent to everyone in the list chances is 40 percent open the email so yes this is auto responder you can have number three you can have number four you can have number five as many as you want not a problem at all all right so yes this is what they call as an auto responder this is how auto responder work uh, a label is excellent because they allows you to uh, select a specific uh, time or duration when to send at what time on what day Yes, they allow you to do that. Everything is your choice. Okay, now let's go to the second part. This is the broadcast. Now, I said earlier, I will explain to you broadcast. So, a broadcast means um, email sending out to all the person in your list. Okay, all your followers. Now, this is something I have in draft, a very simple one actually. Now, um, basically here, this is on draft and this is the send. Okay, there's nothing on schedule. This is one of the examples that I sent recently. I sent an email 
chances of open was a 27% open okay and the click rate is a 7.2% click which means there are some URLs in the email they have out of this 25% 7.2% uh, of them actually click that, e that link okay there are zero bounds and there are or there is zero complaints right now um, this is good when you are doing an a b testing or a split testing you'll be able to see which title attracts more readers which uh, url titles attract uh, more clicks and so on and so forth okay so yes uh, you have a spam score here 1.5 why 1.5 d is an empty email actually so yes you can even click now uh, you can click here to send now or you can schedule on a specific time okay now um, let me show you let me create a simple broadcast I'll show you how easy it is to actually create a email okay or a broadcast on a web now um, you basically fill up your title here for example uh, test news uh, letter okay and you want to make it personalized okay you want to make it personalized um, you can go and click here personalize you can select uh, you want to post the recipient's full name first name last name email address uh, tracking ip so on so forth okay there is a list here okay that you can choose from uh, for me i will always go with the first name so first name um, then test newsletter which means if my name is reginald it'll be reginald comma test newsletter all right now um, this will be the template of your email how it goes around okay now um, i will always work on an empty email okay an empty template i can customize myself so for example test one two three here so and so how are you thank you Rachel. right now there you go see this is something simple but this is just text okay you are saying uh, what should i do if i want to put in a uh, article or uh, maybe a headline okay that's why you click on this it's a drop down button you can add in here uh, maybe headlines right and then you can even set the size if you want Verdana is my favorite i can set a headline what 32 centralized all right something even more okay you can even place maybe an image here okay uh, clicking on this image click on this um, button here you will show here you can select in the image url and the link you can set uh, centralize left right of your choice okay now um, you are saying now you have all this now you want to have those lines as a divider then yes you can use this okay you can place it here for example now you can select this line same thing you can select you want them to be dash dotted solid maybe solid uh, two pixel maybe red in color so now there you go all right so now you're saying right this is good um you want it you want your you want to share okay you want to share you want to give the option for your uh, readers to share it on social media click on this drag it to anywhere that you want okay now you want to put it at the end for example now there you go you have the share button all here you can select the type that you want you don't want facebook remove facebook you want just click it on once you are all done click save now once it is safe go next now uh, it will give you a very simple um, link or here just for your reference this will what be shown on your social media network okay um, this will be shown on your twitter as well at the moment aweber allows you to share on facebook and twitter now now um, this is normally just fine all these are automated now you just need to click next now um, you have a choice right now you can select to all subscribers here you have a segmentation that you can actually select you want to select you want, do you want to send to all subscribers you want to send those who have added today uh, yesterday past seven days so on so forth even active subscribers all right sk subscribers are the one who actually has uh, opened your email or click on your email at least once all right yes then this is active subscribers so yes there's one thing good about aweber and this is a very good option here all right now 
um, just say you're sending to all you can select anyone that you want to exclude or include uh, rational demo is just my demo account so don't bother much about it now you can even uh, track the number of clicks which obviously you want to have it turned on uh, email me the quick stats when they are available this is good because uh, within about an hour after they're sending out the email they will drop you an email a quick email informing you of the number of clicks that you have got, uh, gotten the number of urls click so on and so forth all right now let's say if you want to um, schedule it okay to another date you just need to click here or of course click here either one right you can turn it on now um, you can select any day any time of the year click here if you want to go forward all right now um, this is according to us time so we have um, here the us holiday just to inform you on any holidays that you might not want to include you do not want to include your email to be sent on uh, holiday previous so for example so yes this will inform you here this patriot day this labor day okay now um, you can easily select a date here say you select uh, 27 all right now you can select any time that you want you want it to this the time zone set here is asia so you can select any time that you want one two three uh, maybe 12 30 in the morning all right click set now all you need to do now is to click here schedule and queue for this date now if everything is done click on here and you will automatically uh, schedule that email to be sent at that particular time to everyone in your list all right so yes <coughs> sorry yes how easy you can actually um, create okay um, email or uh, email broadcast okay using uh, a webber now um, that is just one part of it now you have all done with this now how about a blog broadcast okay now what the difference between a broadcast and a blog broadcast okay have you ever um, heard about the word uh, RSS to email okay this is one of the Aweber uh, feature that is highly featured by many people okay many people uses this so what is this now let me tell you um, a blog broadcast okay this is mine actually I have just created it recently right if you can check uh, the date is roughly today now um, basically this whenever I have created a blog post okay on my blog um i it will automatically pick up here they will automatic pick pick up here using my rss okay and they will auto schedule an email to be sent to all my subscribers at this specific time only all right now um you also have the option to send it automatically or you need to click send manually now here's an example um just to show you and edit this right um what you need to do is you need to enter your rss feed url which is this okay now once you have set this up uh, you can personalize in any way that you want okay and you have a tons load of templates that you can choose from here all right um, for me i always go for basic templates i'm just a basic guy so yes so there you go um hi first name fix i just want to share with you my latest post on my blog no, let me know blah 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 uh, here's a quick title okay and everything here all right so um, aweber give you the uh, opportunity or the ability to actually uh, test it out on a plain text message okay some people that um, have this plain text message especially when you are on you are having it on corporate email or you have it on blackberry okay so now this is where you can see it and they even give you this you see this recommended with okay this is important which means you do not want your words to exit this site so yes hit it hit the space bar or the enter button to go for the next lane okay the next line once you're all done all right you can set at what time you want it to be sent okay eastern um western sorry eastern only and um, immediately from eastern from midnight until all the way yeah anytime that you want all right so there you go for me, I prefer to send in the morning due to the fact that yes, um, many of my readers will be awake, obviously. So, um, you don't want to send an email, say, 
uh, at 2 in the morning it makes no sense okay you do not want to wake up your software just for sending an email and say hey i have a new post you know it is awkward all right okay now here how often should we send your blog broadcast okay now um you this is the number of new um, blog posts that they will collect before they send out so for me i will send out for every new post they will automatically send out so basics one okay on a specific day or specific time of the month i will send automatically if you want to change this you can select this you can select on every first of sunday you know so every first sunday so that is an example okay now go back to my normal one all right now uh, track the clicks obviously yes you will take this do you want to share to social media obviously yes now once you do this uh, at the same time where they send out you will um, they will automatically send it to your twitter and your facebook account as well all right of course they will give you the quick step if you want to know how it goes around email me um, on how the steps goes everything done save the blog all right so here is how it goes around um, a few of my posts here the dates are here and the time they have been broadcasted out all right now the next step will be subscribers all right subscribers you'll be able to manage your subscribers um, very clear and simple but just to show you around now um, this is what happened okay um, basically on this screen you'll be seeing many being blanked out just uh, just for safety reason i would say all right so um, you will be able to see the comedy subscribe the unsubscribe uh, delivered uh, added today yesterday past seven days and so on and so forth okay something very simple now you need you do uh, at times you do not you do want to add subscribers okay you can click it here okay now you can manually add them you can import okay or you can see your import history so once you have imported here you'll be able to see in your import history now, <coughs> oh my sorry all right um so something you should know about aweber is aweber hates spam okay they hate spam they do not agree if you buy email addresses now so what happens is for every email uh, subscribers that you add that manually okay here or here either one all right um, they will automatically send an email um, confirmation okay for them to click on the confirm link to subscribe okay so if what happens if they don't click on it you will, do not get any subscribers okay some um, let me see some email marketing tools doesn't have that but for aweber they have that so all your reader need to click the uh, confirmation link okay to get confirmed all right so at, at one time you can select up to 10 okay now um sign up form is something very unique this is very fun for me basically this is all my sign up form that i have all the various sign up form all right so just to take for example um okay i have the one one after post which is uh, i'm using hybrid connect okay so this is the after post for every blog post that i have now this is an inline no big deal of it um it have shown it have a display button display shows that we have 948 views okay 948 chances of um of, of people signing up or seeing the box okay and the number of submissions is only one so and they give you a conversion rate of this amount all right so this is very good it will tell you which is doing very well for example look over here in my email i only sent out six you see and out of six i got three so the conversion rate is 50 percent which um pretty good i would say all right of course um some of them are not no more in use but i'll still leave it here now how do you actually create a sign up form now to create a sign up form you have a few you have a sign up form you can just create one or you can uh, split test okay now um i'm not going into a split test so i'll just create a simple one for you all right now here you go um when you start up okay this is what you will see all right you'll be able to see the mo the templates are all here the most popular the new ones the your my templates are the one that you have created or you have saved as your own okay corporate you, you even show more okay here you can add more fields like um address 
and even more fields like telephone numbers everything okay if you want why not okay now um, basically select one let me see I'll choose this all right um, choose this the this the preview okay is here let's say you like green um, house green maybe you want yellow you want white gray maybe not you want coral okay say you want coral okay load this template it will change here now this is what you see you see this button this corner buttons here okay click on this okay you open a box you can type in your header for example get free news letters all right press you want to centralize it go here now this is what you'll be able to see okay if you want to have some affiliate marketing okay if you want to sell a weber uh, you want to get a small commission of it yes you can add your a, a weber um, affiliate id here okay if not okay if not just click the x button all right so we respect your email privacy this is very important like what i said about a weber okay now um this when you click on this it will go to a weber permission privacy um page okay they will tell you that there's no spam so on so forth all right now uh, you can resize it longer shorter in any way that you want okay now once everything here is done okay let's say um, you do not want to have this template okay let me show you you can show more there you go see in automotive you have 36 different templates okay uh, blocks you want something simple 134 that you can choose from celebration here 134 okay how about retail maybe you're doing corporate business yes corp you have 120 promotional 136 so you see if you add all this up okay we are talking a lot okay maybe over 600 um templates that you can choose from so yes we there are a lot of templates that you can choose from that you can choose from especially when you're using a weber okay so um there you go something very simple if you want to show even more you want to do, show the number of subscribers you have you can even click here the counter button it will show you here for example okay if you don't want click on it you'll remove it powered by yes no you want to put in the power c yes no instead of pressing the x yes you can click even here okay now um, once all this is done you proceed to your next step now the next step form name maybe my test form one okay now what makes a weber um, or a weber great is it allows facebook integration now if you enable this all right all right um, the form will be about 300 pixel wide one thing good about this is um, it allows um, users okay or readers potential followers to easily sign up with just one click of a button they will link their facebook all together okay which means they will use their facebook email their facebook details into your sign up form all right so that's what makes aweber uh, popular even uh, instead of two clicks you'll be able to get in you'll be able to subscribe in just one click okay now um, that is the facebook part now you have the thank you page you can select um, the basic version you can select the audio version the smart read sorry the smart video version custom page or stay on the current page okay uh, at times you can even have your own custom page for example your thank you page okay or your welcome page then yes you can have this all right now um, how about those who have already subscribed maybe they have accidentally click on it now yes you can even choose if you want them to redirect them to any place that you want same all right once you are all done, save the form and go to the next step. Now, this is another great feature of um, Aweber. Okay, because why? Um, they give you three very distinctive options. Okay, which is number one, you install the form yourself. Okay, um, just say you are not a uh, touchy, you do not know much about coding, you don't want to get your hands dirty yes you can send your uh, this particular form over to your web designer here okay or you want it to you want a weber to uh, host the form for you okay how it goes is i'll explain after this um i will install my own form when you click on this it will give you two versions you have the javascript version okay and the raw html version the whole code all right 
Now, um, basically, let's copy this. You see here, you can paste the snippet below anywhere between the body tag of your website. Okay, which means um, just paste this in anywhere that you want so that, um, yes, it will show up. Okay, it will show up correctly. Uh, raw HTML is used when you you are using um, any mailing to plugins like hybrid connect then yes you copy these codes okay and then you just paste it on the right column okay so that's everything's done no any special coding needed no extra coding needed very very simple right so now how about this you want to email to your web designer just click on this um key in your email address your um email your web designer email any message from there on all right now how about this? I have a um, have a Weber uh, host my form now. Um, when you click on this, it will show here. Okay, this is the code where you place it on any widgets. Okay, on your WordPress or any extension. Yes, you paste this code on your web blog, and it will show up accordingly. Okay, different from this, um, I will install this. This JavaScript is where you paste the script into your coding. Okay, something like hard coding it all right so that is the difference now um, I believe Aweber is excellent is an excellent tool especially when you are building a mailing list okay it is um, I highly recommend this for anyone who want to build some um, uh, lawyer followers uh, having a good mailing list yes then use a web um, I don't suggest using free one one of the fact is because of the split testing and as you can see here as you can see here uh, most of the things have can be done immediately very very fast there is no um, you don't need to spend a lot of time okay you really do not need to spend a lot of time it's very simple all right now uh, the next step here report okay this uh, basically the last step among, among all okay uh, this report shows you a general thing you can see here in the dashboard uh, we have uh, open over time click over time revenue over time list of open over time and so on so forth all right that's how you see it. you see it here you'll be able to see the number of follow-up you have sent broadcast the unix one and the total here you want to see a simple graph it's all here all right so basically um, aweber focuses both in service and report wise okay so if you are looking for um, uh, email marketing tool who can assist you to build your um, to build your mailing list then I would highly recommend using Aweber okay there are plans such as a monthly plan there are plans such as a quarterly plan and even a yearly plan okay um, obviously the, the longer duration you take the more discount it goes all right all right uh, there you go i hope you enjoyed this video this video is rather simple do apologize for a few uh, chokings you know i uh, believe i need some water anyway um i hope you enjoyed this video of mine um tell me what you think about aweber okay uh, are you using it for me i'm definitely going to use this i'm not going to anywhere else but i'll be sticking to aweber a a and tell me tell me are you using fitburner are you using mailchimp are you using um icon I, uh, I contact. Uh, are you using any gig, uh, gig response or any other uh, email marketing tool that you're using? Tell me. Maybe I'll do a new review on that. So uh, I hope you enjoy this. Use the comment form below. Uh, tell me what you think of this. And yes, take care and goodbye.